So after a few months of waiting, Apple has finally enabled the ECG feature on the Apple Watch Series 4, which is something I've been really looking forward to and super excited about since I got the watch when it came out. So I wanted to give you a very quick overview of what the ECG functionality is how it works and how well it works, at least in my experience with it so far. So the main point of note is that the Apple Watch Series 4 is now the first direct to consumer device with ECG functionality, which basically just means that it measures the rhythm of your heart and your heartbeat. And it's a little bit different than just measuring your beats per minute, which the Apple Watch has done since version one and lots of other different fitness trackers and devices do as well. And in order to enable the functionality, you need to make sure that your watch and your iPhone are updated to the most recent versions of iOS and watchOS. And once you do that and you open up the ECG app on your watch for the first time, or the ECG portion of the Apple Health app for the first time, you're gonna be bombarded with a bunch of legal and informational notices. The legal notices really make it clear that this is not meant to be a diagnostic feature. It's not meant to replace a visit to a doctor. It's not meant to override a doctor's opinion. It's just a monitoring tool. And then the information that they give you just explains what an ECG is, how to interpret it, what it's looking for. And clearly I'm not a medical expert, but the ECG in the watch puts your heart rhythm into two categories, either sinus rhythm or AFib. And sinus rhythm is normal. AFib means there's an irregularity and you should see your doctor to see what that is. And the Apple Watch has always monitored your heart rate regularly. But to do the ECG functionality, it's actually really simple. There's now a new ECG icon. You just open it up and then you just place your finger on the crown of the watch for 30 seconds. It monitors your heart and then gives you the results and also sends them to your iPhone to store and to analyze. So it's a really simple, really fluid, easy to use feature. As you're using the ECG function, you'll also notice that it warns you right on the screen that Apple Watch never checks for heart attacks. So I guess that means if you think that you're having a heart attack, don't open an app on your watch. Instead, call the ambulance because you're having a heart attack. And another cool feature is that this lets you communicate with your doctor more effectively because it allows you to export the information from your iPhone as a PDF that you can share with your physician. So it's not the thing where the doctor only has the results that they have when you're in the office with them, but they can see throughout your daily life normally over a long period of time what your health is like and that's a great way to get more accurate information and probably better health treatment. So all in all the ECG functionality was one of the main features that really set the Apple Watch Series 4 apart from the previous versions and until now it wasn't available. So now that it is available to me it makes it really clear that the Apple Watch Series 4 is definitely an A plus like must get device and if you're trying to decide should I get the series 4 or the series 3 because it's a little cheaper now I would definitely lean towards the series 4 because in the several months that I've been using it I'm super impressed with it just a couple other side notes the longest that I've worn the watch continuously so far is 22 hours and by the end of that period it was at 50% battery which I think is incredible and then also I want to give credit to black cat 71 who asked a question on my Apple watch series 4 review video where he asked if this update improved the raise to speak functionality, which honestly I hadn't even been using because it was so unreliable. And with this update, the raise to speak function does work a lot more reliably. The whole point with that is you don't have to push any buttons or use any trigger words. You just raise the watch, ask Siri a question, and she's supposed to respond right away. What's the weather? Nice weather coming up today. Up to 71 degrees. There you go. And it seems to work pretty well. Tell me a joke. What did Apple Watch do after a good meal? It went back four seconds. Her jokes are mostly Apple Watch based, but maybe they'll broaden that with a future update. So the raise to speak functionality does actually work now and you can use it. The only downside is that um, it's still Siri and Siri is really limited. So to wrap up, I think this is a clear picture of where Apple is trying to position the Apple Watch in the market and where they're trying to dominate the health-based wearable technological device area. And I think that that's really smart and I also think that they're doing an incredible job of it. And again, this is the first direct to consumer device that has ECG functionality. I'm sure we will see more coming out from other companies and other devices, but I think it's a really cool way to kind of look ahead and see where things 
are going. I recently stumbled across an old saying that said something like, good health is a crown that only the sick can see. And I think that that is really true because we've all had some kind of sickness and injury in our lives and whether that's been really serious or just something like a cold or the flu, if you have good health, you tend to take it for granted and it's not until something goes wrong that you really start to appreciate how great it is to just be healthy and anything you can do to help maintain and protect that health I think is a really valuable investment and the fact that it's just one feature added on top of a device that already does a whole bunch of other useful stuff is really, really cool. So I hope this is a helpful look at this feature that a lot of us have been waiting for for a long time. Let me know if you have any questions about the ECG functionality of the Apple Watch Series 4. And until then, I will see you next time.